Hello everyone, I'm Nightbuzzer and welcome back to another tutorial on Unreal Engine. In this one we're gonna learn how to create a water material like this. Stay 5 minutes or so and I'll show you how to do that. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna create a material and name it water. Then double click to open. Okay so you need to go here in the details panel and just change this to translucent to sided and down here into the translucency tab surface for shading just like the glass material and we're gonna hold 3 and tap on the screen to create a constant with color and we're gonna have the saturation to maybe 0.5 and the blue value to 0.1 maybe 0.01 actually a dark blue click OK then click hold 1 and click 1, 2, 3, 4 I believe we're gonna convert the first one to pull a parameter and we're gonna call it color, specular, roughness, opacity, refraction so it's basically just as the glass material it's not very different just plug the specular into the specular and right here 1 Roughness, we're gonna call it 0 0.01 Opacity, I'm gonna set it to like 0.3 maybe And the refraction is 1.33 And save it for now Okay, so I have a basic landscape here Just for the showcase of this video I'm just gonna go into the modeling tab if you don't have this you're gonna you can go into the plugin section and just search for modeling and enable this one modeling tools editor mode and then you're probably gonna have to restart the engine but after that you're gonna get this toolbar and from here we have the shapes panel and we're gonna drag a rectangle into the scene we're gonna click it and drag it into our scene I'm gonna leave it as it is but you need to set it as your own water plane to suit your project and then just click accept okay but after you apply the material you're gonna see even in path tracing it doesn't look really nice it just looks like a pane of glass now in the material editor you can add a normal map if you want or the waves and that's totally fine you can do that but I'd like to show you how you can displace the water and it will make it look more realistic so select the water plane go back to the modeling tab and you're gonna see here a button which says subdiv which means subdivision click on it and set a value of like 4 maybe and then click accept after that go down to the displace mode and by default I think it comes with Berlin noise but I'm gonna use a texture for this one so I'm just gonna click on the texture to the map and here you can just drag and drop it but I'm gonna search for my texture here it's this one water D I think I think you should have this one by default if not any water uh, displacement texture you have is gonna do just fine subdivisions I set it to maximum but if your PC cannot handle that just lower the value but I'm gonna set it to 10 to show you and the intensity is how much are they displaced so I'm gonna set the value to the value to 20 maybe the subdivisions to 50 maybe so only so I get a bit more detail and here you can play with the UV scale I'm gonna leave it to 1 and you can see we have a beautiful water material and you can check it in path tracing if you want 
then just click on accept when you're done and that's it go into the selection mode and you're gonna have your water plane now this is working fine I mean you could adjust the opacity value maybe to 0.8 let's say and it's gonna look fine for like a lake or something but in reality water has some kind of fading depth if you know what I mean here on the edges it should be brighter and more more clear I mean and here at the bottom is gonna be darker so actually we can do that I'm just gonna set my opacity value back to maybe 0 0.05 and apply it if you're wondering why why it curved like this it's because of the subdivision modifier that we added so make sure to have a pretty big plane but even after that you can scale it maybe like like so it's not really such a big thing just only if it bothers you okay so now duplicate this material open it and set the specular value to zero and the roughness value to zero as well and the refraction to zero so we only have opacity and color and hit apply then we're gonna go back into the modeling tab and grab another rectangle accept and you're gonna want to place it right under this one wow, with this crazy opacity it's really hard to see okay and place it below and then you what you want to do I mean at first let's apply this water one material that we did to it and then just copy copy it for a lot of times like so from bit to bit and as you go down you can go larger with it because it's not gonna be that it's not gonna be very visible so it's gonna be fine and now if we go up and we turn on the path tracing you're not gonna see much of a difference because we need to set the opacity value to more than that maybe 0.1 or 0.15 let's call it 0.15 let's call it that and I'm also gonna set the uh, or let's leave it like this let's check it okay 0 0.15 is maybe too much I mean it depends on your scene again I'm just gonna leave it to 0.1 and go to path chasing and you're gonna see that um, depth fade that I was talking about here is very clear and as it goes down it's very dark that's how water is in real life and I don't really know another method to do it than this and just be aware that it can slow down your performance a bit so don't overdo it with a lot of layers a few layers will do just fine you just need to play around with it so okay so this was a tutorial I hope you found it useful I mean if you're using real-time Unreal Engine you probably didn't need this tutorial because you can use the moving water you know but in path racing that doesn't work so you need a static object simulates water but it's not actually water I hope I, I hope you find it useful and hope you can create very great environments with this so if you want to learn about glass materials or how to bring foliage asset into Unreal Engine 5.1 with Nanite just check my channel and make sure to subscribe if you like this one and I'll see you next time have a great day bye